Would you like to save energy or to stop wasting energy so that you have more energy to focus on what matters to change your life? Here is an essential tip. Pay close attention. Stop looking at the lives of others. Yes, we all do that. Don't say you don't. Don't say you... Don't worry about at least taking a glimpse at the other people's lives. If we have eyes, ears, some sense in our body, we have to interact and learn about people's lives. Unless you lock yourself in a room, close your eyes and ears, still you have your memory to remember other people's lives. Don't say you don't, because all of us, we do it. We can minimize this and understand that it is an increasingly terrible thing happening in the world, because today we are in the world of social media, the world of mass communication, the world of variety of media, where we have endless windows to the lives of others. Am I right? People show their lives on social media for others to see. And social media only exists because the human being wants to know about the lives of others. And that's the reality. Before the internet, we only had the neighbor's life. We only had the neighbor's life of Uncle John that will come to visit, Auntie Mary, only a few people to spy on. Do you remember the gossiper at the neighborhood? There was always that gossiper, male or female, at the window, watching everyone go by, seeing the lives of others and commenting, spreading everything they saw. Wasn't there? Yeah. That gossip in the neighborhood today has a voice for millions of people on the internet. Imagine billions of gossipers. That's what's happening in the world today. Everyone looks at the lives of others and forgets about their own lives. So it's not surprising the mass we are witnessing in the world. People are curious to know or to learn about other people's lives. This influence trends Trends are like a flu. It spreads to everyone and soon everybody's dressing the same. Trends come from looking at other people's lives. That's why fashion shows on catwalks. Why fashion shows? For someone to dictate how the trend is. That's how you dress today. So the silly ones, they see that and say, I'll buy that clothes. So trends are influenced by looking at other people's lives. Social media influence people's opinions. Why is there an uproar for some to control social media? Because they are influential. People who have voices influence others who keep hearing these voices. And that worries many people. So people keep on looking at other people's lives, relationships of others, the wife of so-and-so, the husband of so-and-so. People have this curiosity. At times, they feel like, if I don't know what is happening in the lives of my family members and friends, what is happening in the marketing department, on the accounts department, on the leadership of my company, what happened on that meeting that I was not called. So if I don't know, I'm out. I'll lose power. I must know. So there are certain groups of people that keep on spreading news. Look, this happened, that happened. There's always an informer, a gossiper, because people's ears are eager. Curiosity is significant. The desire to control the lives of others is immense. The desire to be involved in the middle of the action is enormous. People have this envy on desiring other people's lives. So that's why much energy 
is expanded and effort is wasted if they only realized how much they were losing in terms of energy, effort, attention and focus, whilst looking at the lives of others, they would be living much better. Because if they focus 10% of this energy on themselves, they would renounce this behavior once and for all. Look at what God said to his servant, Joshua, when he had an immense task before him to take possession of the promised land. He said this, Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Which means, don't turn from left or right, don't look around, focus. Your focus is to move on. Your focus is on the words that I left for you through my servant Moses. Focus on it. And he reinforced this by saying, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. That is, not only the eyes of Joshua had to be in the words of God, but also the mouth of Joshua should not be talking nonsense, but speaking the words of of God, but you shall meditate in it, in these words, in this book, day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Do you want to be successful? So stop looking at the lives of others. Save these efforts. Do a spring cleaning on your social media. Who do you follow? Do you need to follow all these people? Do you really need to follow hundreds, thousands of people? How can you do it? How can you follow what dozens, hundreds, thousands of people are doing? on the internet. How can you do it? How do you have time for that? You should have 58 hours on the day to do this. Stop on following so many people. They have nothing to add to your life. They have a silly dance shaking a part of their body for you to give a like. Stop on looking on what so-and-so are wearing, doing, what they bought or didn't buy, what the celebrity did or say or didn't say. Stop on wasting your energy. It's already so little. Your time is so little. If you focused all on you, it wouldn't be enough to overcome all your problems. Now, if you break it down, your time sharing it with others, Please, grasp this tip on what God left on nature. The body itself shows us this lesson. Imagine if our hands were looking at our feet, desiring to imitate our feet. Imagine this. If my hands desired to be on the floor, walking like my feet, I would be like an animal walking on my knees. Imagine if my eyes desire to do the roll of my mouth and I will put my eyes in the middle of the food and try to buy the food with my eyes, to eat the food with my eyes. How would that be? What if my ears desire to do the roll of my mouth and start to speak? You see that everything in our body has its due role. Nobody is worried with the other and all are working for one objective, to obey the head. So why do your eyes look at other people's lives? Why are you turning to the left or right, worrying about 
A, B or C. Stop with this. Focus on you, on the Word of God. Focus on the Word, on what God is telling you. This is worth on doing it. Focus on the Word of God. Don't let your mouth be a channel for gossip, for useless information. Focus on you, on your energies that the Word guarantees. For then you make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Here is the tip. Those who want will enjoy it. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.